very good morning, good afternoon, good night, whenever you will watch this video. So today our topic is what is the meaning of tool life and which are the factors which are affecting on the tool life. So first of all we will understand about the meaning of tool life and then we will discuss about the different factors which are affecting on the tool life. So over here tool life has basically two definitions. First definition is what? That tool life means what? It is a time period between two consecutive resharpening or replacement. Now uh, resharpening and replacement means what? That as for example supposing after 5 hours if you will replace your tool due to some problem that tool has been broken. So after 5 hours if you will replace your tool that means tool life is how much? 5 hours. Similarly, supposing after one hour, if you will uh, sharp your tool on the grinding wheel, that means what uh, the time period of the tool is how much? One hour. Second definition is what? That is a time period measured from start of the cut to the failure of the tool. That means what? Supposing you have started uh, the cutting operation and after three hours, supposing your tool has been broken, that means tool fails. So that means three hours, it is your tool life. That means tool life is measured in terms of time or it is expressed in terms of time. Now we will discuss about the factors which are affecting on the tool life. So total 5 important factors are there that we will discuss one by one. So first factor is which one that is your cutting speed which is noted by that V. Now if I will talk about the lathe machine so that is your cutting speed that is your cutting speed. So if you will increase the cutting speed if you will increase the cutting speed so what's happened that uh, tool between tool and workpiece what's happened more temperature is produced so temperature is increased of the tool and if temperature of the tool is increased so more heat generation is there on the tool that means uh, tool will be heated at its maximum level so that what's happened that tool will become brittle and if tool will become brittle so it will be broken that means this tool life is decreased so we can say like this that if cutting speed is increased, if cutting speed is increased, so what's happened? Tool life is decreased. Why? Because at a high cutting speed, temperature is more, heat is more. That means tool will become brittle. So that tool life is decreased. Opposite of that, if you will think how that if I will uh, decrease the cutting speed, if I will decrease the cutting speed, so what's happened? Less temperature will produce on tool, less heat will produce. So that tool will not become brittle. So that tool life is increasing. So tool life and cutting speed both are inversely proportional to each other. That is your first factor. Now second factor which is affecting on the tool life is what? Feed and depth of cut. In the case of a lathe machine, that is your feed and that is your depth of cut. Now if you will increase the depth of cut or feed, so what happens? More amount of the material will remove. So you can say like that. Production of cheap, of amount of cheap is more. That means we can say like this that more amount of chip will flow from the surface of the tool so more amount of chip will flow from the surface of the tool so that that chip will do what that chip will provide some friction on the tool surface that means friction is increased on the surface of the tool and you the high friction on the tool surface can we say that the strength of the tool is decreased and if strength of the tool is decreased so that it will be broken so tool life is decreased that means Feed and depth of cut is also inversely proportional to the tool life. Now our uh, next factor is tool geometry. Now tool geometry is also a very important factor which will affect on the tool life. Now in the tool geometry generally two types of the angles are there. First angle is known as rack angle and another angle is known as clearance angle. Now if we will increase the rack angle then what's happened tool life is decreased. Now question may arise that if you will increase the rack angle then how tool life is decreased. So answer is what that rack angle means this angle that is your face and that is the edge. So between that whatever angle is there that is your rack angle positive rack angle that is your positive rack angle. If you will increase the rack angle if you will increase the rack angle that means this line will come nearer to this flank. So what's happened cross section area of your cutting tool is decreased 
and if cross section area of cutting tool is decreased so strength of the tool is decreased and if strength of the tool is decreased so that tool will be broken so that tool life is decreased that means if you will increase the rack angle so what's happen cross section area is decreased so strength is decreased and tool life is decreased and if you will increase the uh, sorry decrease the rack angle that is your positive rack angle and if you will go like this that means that is your negative rack angle in in increasing in decreasing the rack angle that is your increasing rack angle positive rack angle if you will decrease the rack angle like this so that is your negative rack angle so that cross section area is increased so strength is increased that means tool life is increased that means rack angle is inversely proportional to tool life if you will increase the rack angle tool life is decreased due to the less cross section area if you will decrease the rack angle so cross section area is increased so tool life is increased now after that another angle is clearance angle now clearance angle is which one angle between this uh, vertical axis and the flank of the tool that is known as clearance angle now if you will increase the clearance angle like this if you will increase the clearance angle so what's happen initially tool life is increased but after some time tool life will decrease now initially why tool life will increase by increasing the clearance angle because if you will increase the clearance angle so friction between two tool and work piece is very much less so that less heat is produced so tool will not become brittle so that tool life is increased but after that why tool life is decreased because as if you will increase the clearance angle so that cross section of that cutting tool is decreased so that strength of the tool is decreased so that tool will be broken so that clearance angle will affect how that initially if you will increase the clearance angle so that the tool life is increased but after that it is decreased now next uh, factor for affecting on the tool life is cutting fluid now cutting fluid will do what simply it will carry away the heat which is uh, produced inside of the tool also it will decrease the coefficient of friction of the tool so that uh, tool life is increased and last one is which one which factor that physical and chemical properties so which are the physical property first one is this the coefficient of friction of the tool must be very much less then only friction will be less then only temperature and heat will be less then only brittleness will be less then only tool life is increased next physical property is flash point now flash point of the tool material should be very much high then only at a very much higher temperature it is not capable to produce a spark if flash point is high that means at a very much high temperature maybe it will produce this spark so that tool life is high that means flash point must be very much high then only tool life will be high last one is which one physical property corrosive property but obviously if corrosive property is less then only tool life is more last one is chemical property first one is neutral so tool material should be neutral tool material should be neutral means what that that tool will never uh, uh, you can say that react with the environment air if it will react with the environment air so what's happen oxidation will produce and due to the oxidation corrosion of the tool is there so that tool life will decrease and last one is what oilness now oilness of the tool must be very much less if oilness of the tool is high so what's happen whatever chip which are present on the surface of the tool they cannot be easily removed so what's happen that chip which is present on the tool uh, will effect on the surface of the tool so surface of the tool will be spoiled so that tool life will be less so this is all about the factors which are affecting on the tool life now i would like to end this video so till then read hard work hard thank you very much